yeah, I would dedicate it to my clients, yeah, definitely. I'm, I love giving uh, people the choices to, to do what they want to do with their pregnancy, yeah, and listening to the stories. Um, I started off first of all in a the Living Life Centre in Bray, which is a, a centre for um, it takes on clients that can't afford to go to the dear counsellors. I also worked down in a resource centre down in Newtown and Kennedy, and that would have been the same. It would have been on sliding scale, which that means if a client can afford Fiverr, that's all they'd have to pay, and if they can't afford anything, they didn't have to pay anything. From then on, um, I was still working down the Living Life Centre. I did another course in reality therapy. I then um, gave up work for about five years, then went back and did a, a diploma. After that, I was offered a job here and I've been working here since. I haven't done general counselling in a good while, but working here now, we're getting a lot of post um, abortion where that would be going on the general counselling and I would love nobody not coming I'd love to, it, the phone not to ring or someone to say you know I'm I'm in a crisis at the moment I prefer that they weren't I would prefer it to be you know that everybody's educated enough to realize that um, if you have sex you might get pregnant if you don't use contraceptives I mean, working here is more, is crisis. It, it, it's not really general counselling. Um, it would be working with a client straight here and now, and we're trying to solve a issue or a problem. With general counselling, it could last, you know, you have the scope, it goes on, it could last for years. Where this is, I have to, somebody comes in in crisis, they need the help now. out of it is it, it's um, when, when somebody comes in and they're absolutely desperate and they don't know what to do to be able to give them information and to to be able to um, support them is you you kind of feel you've done something you've helped helped advise somebody along the way so you do get a little bit of at least you've done something but as saying that you do get um, frustrated because things haven't changed um, people don't seem to understand that um, how simple it is to get pregnant they don't they um, are not looking after themselves so it can be sometimes frustrating because I could have a client that has been with me um, say in January and then come back to me in June and they could be pregnant again so it can be frustrating in that sense A girl comes into me and she would say, I've, I've, I've just slept with one guy and I have to say, well, where did, how many girls has he slept with beforehand? And you have to go back, back, back like that. So she might be only sleeping with the one guy, but she's actually sleeping with all the other partners he's slept with. And it's trying to get that message across to the, the clients that it's not that I'm accusing them of sleeping around, but they've got to just, if they're not using condoms, they've got to be careful. I'll just give you an example of what happens when a client comes in here. When a client comes in, they will say to me that um, either they're pregnant um, and they don't know what to do. Legally, I have to give them three options, and the first option is to keep adoption or to travel, which means a termination. If the client says to me they want to uh, keep the baby, I will then give them all the information about keeping. I will send them to another agency which is called One Family, which will support um, them during the pregnancy and send them to parenting courses. 
which um, if somebody wants to go for adoption which is very very rare I've only had one since working here five years I will also send them to Troer which is in an adoption agency and they will be cancelled during their pregnancy if somebody wants to travel I will tell them what it entails and um, I will give them the information about it the um, the the good and the bad of, of a termination and I will give them phone numbers that they you know they can ring the clinics